Welcome to Cardon, ladies and gentlemen, this is Charlie Rubiel and today we are going to talk about a new tool inside Houdini 18 and uh, we are going to talk about that because a lot of you have been uh, telling me about where is the paint soft tool, all right? And yes, it's gone and some of the things that I showed you in class probably are kind of different now and you're getting a lot of trouble with that. So not a problem, we're going to resolve all these uh, mysteries in this uh, session. So what we're going to do first is just, uh, I'm going to create something. Well, I already created something, a polygon mesh, and I have some uh, rows and columns, as you can see here. And let's go and create, um, well, let's call, or just type paint, all right? So you can see that the paint shop is gone. And now we have a lot of different type of paint objects, as you can see here. Now you have paint attributes and we have attribute paint. Now let's, let, let's click on attribute paint, for example, attribute paint. We're going to place that in here. And now you can see that we have attribute paint right here. All right. And now let's go and call paint again. And you can see that we have attribute paint and we have paint attributes. So now I'm going to select paint attributes and I'm going to place it right here. All right. So as you can see there, this node is attribute paint number two, and this one is attribute paint uh, number one. So they are the same. All right. So the only the kind of uh, difference is, um, well, in this case is actually none. All right. So you have two ways of calling these guys. So they're kind of the same. Uh, and the same thing is going to happen with uh, a lot of different nodes in here. So if you go like that and just uh, type uh, paint or no, I'm just going to call attribute. OK, so you have uh, a lot of different guys here, like the attribute Wrangler. For example, when we type uh, Wrangler, Wrangler, you can see that we have uh, attribute Wrangler, we have point Wrangler, and uh, some of them are kind of the same. So it, it, that's uh, just the way everything is kind of uh, organized in here. So now what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to go here and type again paint, and I'm just going to call uh, paint attributes, all right? And we are going to get this guy. I'm going to place it right here. Now, uh, if we visualize this, you're going to see right away that we have this purple color. Now, we are using some sort of attribute called mask. OK, that's the name of the attribute. Now, probably what we can do here is just go and set. Uh, let's get a new um, geometry spread. And you can see here that I have this attribute point attribute called mask and all the values are zero. All right. So we have nothing in here but just zeros. So that's really cool. That means that our value right now, this purple color means that our value is zero. All right. Now, if we jump back to our object, now you can see that we have this value and it's a floating value. A floating value means that we have only one range that could come from zero to one, for example, or to 10 or it doesn't really matter, but it's going to go from zero to this value and it's going to go in with decimals. So 0 0.01, 0 0.02, 0 0.5, etc., etc., etc. It's not an it's not an integer value. So that's really cool. Now, the first thing is you're going to see that we have this purple sphere. And now this purple sphere means zero values. And we are seeing this because we have a mask and that mask can be activated by clicking on this little guy in here. We can just click in here. Visualization. OK, we have a visualizer that allows us to see the power of the mask. Now I'm going to paint something just going to click and then drag. And you can see that if I do that, I get this kind of uh, really cool uh, kind of range of colors. Now, don't be confused. This doesn't mean that I am painting color and that doesn't mean that I am painting with a vector kind of attribute. I mean, even though we have different colors, that doesn't mean that we are painting with three different values of color like red, green and blue. We are using only one single value. But what is happening is if we take a look here on the geometry spreadsheet, uh, you can see that we have different values in some of the areas that we have been painted uh, that we painted. So zero means the purple and red means, for example, probably one or the, the strongest values. So let me just try to paint uh, this region in here. And I don't really know how far that value goes. Yeah, you can see that it's almost uh, one. This one, for example, here, you can see that is 0.99. So that means that we are closer to, to that uh, range. So zero is purple. And then as we, we start uh, changing this value, 
these uh, values are changing just uh, gradually but it's just one single uh, attribute one single value all right so now that we understand that uh, we need to know that we are painting on this attribute called mask that is the one that comes by default inside Houdini now we have um, some other options for example we can go here and change this value but right now we are only using this attribute I can go to the attribute section for example right here and I can create another attribute let's say that I want to paint on color right so for example if I, if I want to create another attribute I can just click on this plus sign and I can create a new object a new attribute and now in this case I can give it a different name so I can call this uh, size for example if I want to and now this attribute is gonna be a set as a float value and I can use it like that or I could use it as color for example and now you can see that size now has three different values here on my geometry spreadsheet you can see here size zero 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 and we are having this vector kind of thing now I can go in here and change that to an integer and now I can have size into one single value an integer or I can set it to a float value so now another thing that I can do is just go and set that to color so we have red green and blue or three different values like um, you know uh, a real vector and I can say you know what you are going to be the color of this now we have a new attribute name called CD and by default this is the color that uh, the, the, the attribute name that Houdini uses for color and now we are setting that into color right so everything is one 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 perfect now I'm gonna go back to my brush and now you can see that here in my attribute value I have the option to change that from mask to color and now I have the option to use colors for my object now if your interface doesn't change when you type here or when you switch to the color just click on your surface here on your uh, geometry click with the brush and on your on your geometry and everything is gonna work and uh, this is gonna update and you're gonna get access to your colors now for example I can go now and change this color to red and let's just see the values here in our uh, colors and you can see that now I can paint and you can see some of these uh, attributes changing uh, their volume All right so we have that and we can paint and I can just go around and and paint and I can do that and um, I can switch to another color and now another value is the one that is gonna change and you can see that this is just how we used to paint with our old uh, paint shop. all right so that's perfect now there's uh, some other attributes that you can create and all you have to do is just click and add some of those attributes and every time you add another one you have the option to come here and just switch between them all right so that's great that's perfect now let's talk about some of the options that we have in here in our uh, uh, brush interface so first of all we have the left mouse uh, brush operation and you can see that this one is going to work when I press my left mouse button and in this case what I'm doing is I am painting but I can say smooth that instead of painting you can smooth the actual area and now you can see how I am uh, creating a smooth transition between the red and blue and I'm getting this kind of purple color and this is really nice because it allows you to create a really nice transition between these colors you can see how effective this uh, system works and how you can avoid getting uh, some uh, really hard edges and, and more than anything when you know uh, creating terrains and things like that uh, it can work uh, really nice and you you get kind of a sculpture kind of um, a way of doing things all right so that's uh, a lot nicer and you have this kind of bruise and uh, now instead of just a uh, um, a stain of red or, or whatever now we have the ability to use some of our, of our keys in order to get those functions so for example right now I am setting that to smooth but I could leave it like this and if I press control so let's go and try to paint again or I'm just gonna go here and try to paint another harsh blue area and now if I press control and click on top of that I can use my smooth version so that's uh, really nice alright so in cases when you want to use the control which is um, something that I will recommend you can do that 
and if you don't want to use it just go and change the value in here now you have some other options as you can see here for example the erase now you can click on erase and when you do that what you can do is obviously you're going to erase everything but uh, still you can use the erase and you can press control and you can erase and um, smooth that transition between the erasing all right so that harsh and let's get uh, get rid of these uh, edges so just control and you can get rid of that um, just like that okay so really nice and cool now there's another option where you can get the a dropper and the a dropper is another function where you can just go and click and you can see that uh, anywhere you click on you can get that color so I, I get the value of the color that I am clicking in this case so I can just pick that one or pick this one or pick this purplish pinky kind of color uh, pink uh, pink color and I'm gonna get that right in here now the thing is that the a dropper you can actually get it just by pressing control shift so same thing you can paint with purple in here you can control and smooth the area and then you can control shift and click and get the color uh, that you want with the a dropper all right so that is really really cool now I'm gonna press control I'm gonna try to smooth that out just like this and it looks really nice <laughs> a lot of different well not a lot of different colors but yeah a couple of ranges um, of coloring here so let me just get something uh, yellowish and control and smooth that out and we start getting some other values here so that's uh, really nice now we have another operation and that's uh, middle mouse button so with the middle mouse button what you can do is you can see uh, we have we are painting with the background color and we have the foreground color which is the yellow that we have selected and this is the background color so with this I can add uh, another value to my to my points in this case and that is important we are working with points all right we are not working with polygons we are working with points and that's why you can see everything here on my attribute point area now again I could uh, control and middle mouse button and but you can see that if I press control and click on with the middle mouse button what I'm getting is just uh, uh, another behavior I am not getting the smooth transition what I'm getting is I am actually painting with the um, erase option which is I am painting with white all right so removing everything so that's the behavior but uh, if you now press control and left click you can see that you can smooth everything again all right so it's just like that so again if you middle mouse you're gonna get this black color okay really hard on the surface and then control is gonna delete that and uh, excuse me control and middle mouse is gonna delete that and then control but left mouse is gonna smooth everything out all right and now the same thing is gonna happen here uh, when you control shift you're gonna get the a dropper and you can actually um, get the color now for the background and uh, now this color is not gonna be black anymore so it's gonna be this and you're gonna be able to erase if you press control okay uh, and the middle mouse you're going to be able to erase and then uh, if you press control shift you can get again uh, middle mouse and you can get a color so that's uh, what is going to happen and that's how you can paint and that's how you can manipulate all that now we are talking about these values but what happens if i go to a mask option so if i go to a mask option the same thing is going to happen i have uh, access to control and shift uh, control and i can smooth the ranges of these values all right with this mask I can get that a smooth operation in here not a problem at all even though we are working with only one value all right so don't get confused this is just one integer but still we have a range of values where this color the, the colors means uh, uh, they have a, a different meaning in value but everything works the same and now what I want you to see is that instead of having colors what we have is just background uh, uh, value is one and uh, excuse me foreground value is one and background uh, value is zero so what happens here is that now if I middle mouse for example you can see that I am getting this value set to this color again and now if I press control and middle mouse the same thing is going to happen because I have the same value set uh, that value set to zero or yeah to zero and that's why it looks like I, I am deleting well actually I am deleting <laughs> and that's what is happening but I get the same behavior pressing control or not because the value of the background is the same now I could if I wanted to 
press control shift and then middle mouse click and then i'm going to get a value here for my background now if i start painting with my middle mouse button and uh, you're going to see that i get this value and now yes of course if i press control middle mouse button i'm going to start deleting and now i have a different type of operation in values working with my mouse all right so that's the the cool thing about this and uh, let's go to another in our next class we're going to uh, keep talking about these um, other values and uh, later on we're going to be playing with attributes and we're going to be manipulating other objects and doing some cool stuff with attributes so uh, keep in touch i will see you in our next class thank you very much bye bye for now